President Donald Trump on Saturday defended his decision to fire the top watchdog of the U.S. intelligence community, saying Michael Atkinson did a terrible job in handling the whistleblower complaint that triggered an impeachment probe of Trump last year. He took a fake report, and he brought it to Congress, Trump said during a briefing on the novel coronavirus pandemic. Late on Friday, the White House told Atkinson, the intelligence community's inspector general, that he would be terminated from his position in 30 days. He was a key figure in the run-up to impeachment, having found credible a complaint from a still unnamed whistleblower within the administration that Trump abused his office in attempting to solicit Ukraine's interference in the 2020 U.S. election for his political benefit. The president complained that after receiving the complaint, Atkinson did not come and speak to him about it at the White House. He's a total disgrace, Trump said. Trump inveighed against the whistleblower as well, calling him fake and politically biased. Frankly, somebody ought to sue his ass off, he said. Atkinson's firing prompted concerns among some congressional Republicans and criticism from Democrats. U.S. Senator Richard Burr, who chairs the Senate Intelligence Committee, praised Atkinson, while noting Trump has the authority to fire him. Like any political appointee, the inspector general serves at the behest of the executive, Burr, a Republican from North Carolina, said in a statement on Saturday. However, in order to be effective, the IG must be allowed to conduct his or her work independent of internal or external pressure. U.S. Senator Charles Grassley, chairman of the Senate Finance Committee, demanded a better explanation for Atkinson's firing. Congress has been crystal clear that written reasons must be given when IGs are removed for a lack of confidence, he said. More details are needed from the administration. Trump is trying to scare the watchdog community, Adam Schiff, a California Democrat and chairman of the House Intelligence Committee told MSNBC Saturday morning. He's decapitating the leadership of the intelligence community in the middle of a national crisis, he said. It's unconscionable, and of course it sends a message throughout the federal government in particular to other inspectors general. Republican House Representative Jim Jordan, a staunch Trump supporter, mocked Schiff's concern about Atkinson's firing. He was Schiff's key impeachment enabler, Jordan wrote on Twitter. Atkinson's firing comes as U.S. inspectors general, who are charged with independent oversight of federal agencies, were recently tasked with broad surveillance of the government's response to the coronavirus, including the historic $2.3 trillion fiscal package to mitigate its economic impact. Democrats have expressed concerns about how the fiscal package will be doled out through the U.S. Treasury, headed by Stephen Mookin. Michael Horowitz Chair of the Council of the Inspectors General on Integrity and Efficiency, CIGIE, an independent agency in the executive branch and the Inspector General at the Department of Justice, defended Atkinson and vowed on Saturday to continue to conduct aggressive independent oversight of government programs. This includes CIGIE's Pandemic Response Accountability Committee and its efforts on behalf of American taxpayers, families, businesses, patients, and healthcare providers to ensure that over $2 trillion in emergency federal spending is being used consistently with the law's mandate, Horowitz said in a statement. In bringing the whistleblower complaint to Congress, Atkinson expressed concerns that Trump potentially exposed himself to serious national security and counterintelligence risks when he pressed Ukrainian President Volodymyr Zelensky during a July 25 phone call to investigate Democratic presidential hopeful Joe Biden and his son, according to a Justice Department legal opinion. After contentious, partisan hearings the Democratic-led House of Representatives voted to impeach Trump but the Republican-led Senate acquitted him of the charges in early February. U.S. President Donald Trump's pick for the new watchdog overseeing $2.3 trillion in coronavirus-related fiscal spending is not independent enough to do the job, congressional Democrats said on Saturday. The White House said late on Friday Trump would nominate Brian Miller, a special assistant to the president and senior associate counsel in the office of White House counsel, to the role of special inspector general for pandemic recovery.
the Inspector General providing oversight of the federal response of this historic relief package for workers and families must be independent from politics, House Speaker Nancy Pelosi echoed in her own statement. The President's nomination of one of his own lawyers clearly fails that test. Senate Democrats, including Senate Democratic Leader Chuck Schumer and the top Democratic Senator on the Senate Finance Committee, also criticized the move. Democratic U.S. Senator Richard Blumenthal said in a post on Twitter that the appointment was akin to putting a fox in charge of the hen house. The new watchdog position, which comes with the $25 million budget, was created to conduct, supervise, and coordinate audits and investigations of the making, purchase, management, and sale of loans, loan guarantees, and other investments by Treasury Secretary Stephen Mookin. If approved by the Senate, Miller would also serve on the Council of Inspectors General from other agencies tasked with being a new watchdog group with broad oversight. Pelosi has also said she would form a bipartisan select committee on the coronavirus crisis to oversee the use of the $2.3 trillion approved by Congress to respond to the pandemic. Before joining the White House legal team in December 2018, Miller served as Inspector General for the General Services Administration for nearly a decade, which performs much of the administrative work for the federal government. He also worked in the Justice Department as Special Counsel on Health Care Fraud. The Executive Director for Citizens for Responsibility and Ethics in Washington, an advocacy group for ethics, Noah Bookbinder, blasted the White House's move late on Friday. The new role is an important oversight position that should be going to an independent expert, not a loyalist, Bookbinder wrote in a post on Twitter.